Hello everyone, I'm Gumania. I'm which of the first author. Um, this, although I live in Magdeburg, that's also in Germany, but it is the first time for me to come to this famous and beautiful city. Before coming here, my colleague, my colleague told me that the cherry flower, flowers are very famous in this city. And the uh, the organizer gave me this chance to join this wonderful workshop. Uh, today I will give a talk, local radio basis functions based pseudo symmetrical method for no local diffusion problems. Uh, this work is joined with my second supervisor, Wei Si Hong, who works at City University of Hong Kong. Uh, because the name of this method is a little long, so we call it LRBFPA for short. Uh, in this talk, I mainly um, introduce two novel numerical methods for solving non-local problems. And uh, the, first prob uh, the first method is LRBFPS, and the second is the finite integration method. We call it FM for short. And the last part is something about my future work. Now we will introduce something about non-local diffusion models. I know uh, expert, you have a um, famous expert on non-local models, so we uh, introduce this part briefly. Non-local um, problems can describe uh, a much more general um, models than PDEs. So, uh, because they can describe problems which, uh, which discontinuities or other singularities. Uh, so they have been applied in many fields, such as diffusion processes, image processing, and others. For numerical solution of this, these problems, some different methods have been studied, such as Galkin FEM, collocation FEM, and discontinued Galkin method. These measures uh, are, are mass-based measures. This means this measure needs mass generation. So these measures will cost a long computational time uh, for generating mass and remass. It will limit this, this measure uh, to so high-dimensional problems uh, efficiently. Uh, what's more, because the accuracy of this measure also depends on the quality of the mesh. So it will be, so sometimes the accuracy can be guaranteed very well for the problem in complex geometries. In order to tackle these two limitations, this year's massless method um, has um, uh, developed very fast. And more and more people pay more attention to this method. For no local problem, the Galkin radio basic function method have been studied in several papers. Uh, the first uh, approach in this talk is also a massless method. This method is an improved uh, radio basic function collocation method. Compared to the Galkin RBF method, uh, the collocation method has a very simple form and also has a high accuracy. So it's much more um, popular. But this method always generates a death matrix because of global interpolation. The, one, the most uh, contribution of our method is to change the death matrix from dense to sparse. So it will save a lot of computational time. What's more, this method uh, has all the uh, advantages of the RBF collocation method. Pseudo symmetrical method is also called collocation method. So this method is also can be called LRBFCM. CM means collocation method. Now I will introduce um, our first uh, approach. Uh, starting this method from uh, 1D polynomial interpolation, we can use this uh, expression to express the polynomial interpolation for a given function f, where c is the interpolation operator. Uh, it satisfies the cardinal function, cardinal condition. To evaluate the c, 
The general method is to construct orthogonal polynomials, for example, uh, Chebyshev polynomials or Jacobi polynomials and other polynomials. There are, only, there are still two limitations. The first, high dimensional polymorph. The second, also the complex geometries. So we want to use the massless radio basic functions to construct the orthogonal functions. These functions also satisfy the cardinal function conditions. So we call it cardinal RBF. Uh, why the uh, massless RBF can tackle these two limitations? Because there are several advantages of this method. First, massless. This means this method does not mm, need mass generation, so it will save a lot of time. In fact, this method only considers the situation of data points, so this method is much more flexible. Uh, radio means of leading distance, we know the distance is always 1D. So RBF can be used to solve high dimensional problems because we saw this problem just like to solve 1D case. What's more, the accuracy of this method does not depend on the position of points. Um, that is to say, uh, you form distribution and uh, random distribution can guarantee a good accuracy. Mm, the following table gives several common radio basic functions. The first is uh, GA, MQ, and IMQ. I will use these three functions to verify our results in the following talk. Okay, we will return the cardinal RBF. According for a given uh, RBF phi, according to the Laplace equation, we can get the uh, cardinal uh, RBF and use this uh, f formula. So the polynomial interpolation can be uh, will have a new expression. This time we use the cardinal RBF to instead of the original. Uh, original C. We know that the polynomial interpolation often fails because of a Runge phenomena. In order to avoid it, we will consider the local interpolation idea. This means we are uh, interested in the situations where the, mm, the points have interplays in a subdomain. This means for each point, for each point, the value, uh, the value at this point uh, comes from his neighbor's contribution. Mm, we note m is the influence points number. Uh, sometimes the m is smaller than the total number n. This is some different, uh, uh, different cases. The first case is uh, evaluation points um, in omega. This is at the corner and the boundary three different cases. Okay. After the several definitions, the our RBF um, interpolation, uh, interpolation can be, uh, will have a very simple form, just like this. Uh, the idea behind this method is to apply this method to so PDEs. So um, consider a PDE model, which is a directory boundary condition. Uh, apply this method uh, to get the discretization of this system. Uh, the following figures give the patterns of the matrix. The first mm, means the influence uh, points uh, m is equal to n. This we can see that the matrix is dense. And the others is much more sparse because the m is smaller than n. This is the reason why this method can save a lot of time. This method has been used to solve different uh, PDEs. Uh, some papers can be obtained from my second supervisor's homepage. Uh, here I want to use this method to solve no local um, problems. I hope we can have a good result. Okay. Here I will consider several different uh, examples. The first example is a 
uh, 2D steady state model. Uh, for a given no local kernel, we can define uh, the exact solution. For this example, um, the exact solution is a smooth function. Then we test, we test the results uh, using three different radio basic functions for different S. Uh, we also consider two different arrows. From the results, we can see that the accuracy is very nice. That means the LRBF has a very high accuracy to show uh, no local problem. But maybe you can find uh, uh, the problem about, about that. If sometimes n increase, but at the same time, both arrows increase at the same time, but why? That's because um, the, new mark, the number of influence points is fixed. This means if we want to uh, higher accuracy, increase this number, that's enough. Okay, the next uh, example is a time-dependent problem. We still define a uh, small function as the exact solution. We still um, consider three different uh, RBF, two different uh, arrows, and uh, from this, the, the, the results in this table, we can find a good result. Uh, for this, um, this example, we, uh, we only choose five uh, influence points. If the accuracy is not good enough, we can increase this number. Uh, because the no, no local problem can describe uh, discontinue problems, uh, so, we, so in this part, we will consider this problem. Because the discontinuities uh, trigger the Gibbs phenomenon, the, there are two common methods to deal with this phenomenon. The first the approach is the grid refinement uh, scheme. For methodless method, we only increase um, points. And, but, but, the, but sometimes this method will cause a lot of CPU time. And, and in fact, we use this method also uh, get some good results. But because I want to introduce another point, another approach, so the results are not soon here. If you are interested in this part, uh, in this part, after this talk, I can show you the results in my paper. Um, the second approach is the enriched method. This method is to introduce some very special function to express the disformation, uh, disformation solutions. This, for this part, we will put the RBF and the special function together and then construct a new cardinal function. And then, uh, and then we still consider the localized measure. Finally, we can go to uh, local uh, enriched RBFPS. We call it LERBFPS uh, uh, expression, where P is the spatial function. We can see that if P vanishes, this expression is just the, the expression of LRBFPS measure. Uh, because of aiding the special function, the computational time is longer than before. But we found that, found of, found that the discontinuity sometimes only occupies a very small part of the whole domain. So we want to use the hybrid approach to, to deal with. That means the whole domain is divided into three parts, omega 1, 2, and 3. And only omega-2 contains the discontinuity. And uh, omega-1 and 3 are small subdomains. Mm, in omega-2, omega we consider the enriched RBF to measure to make sure a uh, good accuracy. And uh, for the omega-1 and 3, we only consider the LRBF uh, to, to save a lot of uh, computational time. For hybrid approach, 
the problem will, uh, the pro the other problem is something about the function as a uh, interface. For our problem, there are two interfaces. Because the LRBF and LERBF satisfy chronic data property, so we can consider, we can use this method directly without uh, in, uh, introducing a ramp, ramp functions. OK. Uh, we consider this uh, model. For a, uh, given a very special kernel, uh, this kernel, which is the one function, we uh, defined three different exact solutions. From the figures, we can find that the first derivative of these functions you know, have jumps at uh, their uh, discontinuities. Mm, so their continuities are weak, weak form. For a, for a weak form, for, for a weak discontinuity, a typical choice uh, for the spatial function is absolute of the uh, level set function. So we test our results using only using MQ function for different uh, data data means the uh, no local uh, hidden size. Uh, let the width of the omega two um, be point two, and uh, note h um, to be the density of the points. Uh, we still consider two different arrows. Um, from the table, we can see that the arrows is very arrows are very small and uh, re remain stable because we only choose five influence points. Mm, influence. So from now on, we can see that the LRBF can so the uh, is a Good uh, is a good numerical method for solving the no local diffusion problem. This is our the first approach. Now we uh, I will introduce our second approach. FM. Before that, we will con discuss the relationship between PDE and the no local uh, equation. Uh, we know that if the fully transform of the kernel has a special case, the uh, non-local equation uh, have, will have a, a corresponding uh, PDE. Based on this idea, we, we approximate the non-local kernel with another function. This function whose fully transform is uh, rational and then we can derive an approximate PDE for, for the no-local equation. Now we, we define several functions in Fourier space. Uh, this uh, function has an even order. Where alpha, beta, gamma, set, uh, it and mu are parameters of these functions, and uh, they can be determined using a least square fit algorithm. If our assumption can be held, the no local equation can be approximated by the following even order PDEs. Uh, the first PDE 2, 4, 8, and others. This PDE which uh, uh, even order. We also test our, uh, our thinking by two different uh, no local kernel. From the figures, we can see that um, this idea can make sense because the, uh, um, because the results are very nice. So we will uh, use the, we will, up, we will give a new uh, numerical method to show the uh, even order PDEs. Okay, sorry. Starting from this method from 1D problem, for a given function f, we consider the uh, interpolation of this function. After that, we consider the quadrature. And uh, we note uh, this part as the uh, uh, coefficient matrix. If we consider a very simple trapezoidal rule, we know that the coefficient matrix is sparse enough 
uh, what's more is a, a lower triangle matrix. Then, then integral f uh, f many times multiple layers. We can get the similar result. The an coefficient uh, matrix an is a lower triangle matrix. Let's turn this idea to high dimensional. Uh, here we only consider 2D. We can get the similar result. And this matrix is a diagonal matrix, and the other one is uh, still a lower triangle matrix. They are sparse enough. So we want to use this method to show PDEs. Uh, okay, we, uh, okay, here we consider a PDE tool to describe details about uh, applying this method to show a PDE. Mm. For this PDE tool, if we let the parameters alpha, beta, gamma, R1, so, this, so we know that this, uh, in this equation and it, it will exactly equivalent to the no local diffusion equation, which this special kernel, according to the inverse Fourier transform. And uh, J, uh, J0 is the first kind basic function, which is zero, zero order. After considering the implicit scheme for the, uh, in for the time, we will apply FIM for this equation. Because the highest order, uh, the highest order of this equation is 2. And this uh, equation also, um, in this uh, equation, this problem also in two-dimensional problem. So we need uh, integral four, t four, time, four times, and twice for x and uh, the other twice for y. And the last uh, two terms are interpolation to make sure this method will have a good result. And then applying the integration matrix, we can get the uh, discretization of this system. And we defined an uh, uh, exact solution B like this, and we test the result. From the results, we can we can know that the FIM can be used to show uh, high order TDEs. We also we also use our first uh, approach, LRBF uh, PS method to show the same uh, model. Uh, comparison the arrows and the CPU time, we can find that FIM has a lower computational cost because a lot of Sbras matrix. And, uh, but uh, the LRBFPS method has a higher accuracy because we consider the uh, cardinal RBF. So the, our next work is to couple FIM and uh, LRBFPS together to solve some problems. Uh, for the coupling idea, we still start from a polynomial approximation for F and then integral uh, integration of f, and uh, then we consider uh, we consider the cardinal RBF. Uh, for this integral part, we define a new function r to instead of this part. Then we can we still consider the localized idea. Uh, finally, we can got this uh, this uh, one layer integral tab. Our RBFPS method. Method. Uh, we note this part. This part as uh, a one. This is the coefficient matrix. And uh, similarly, we can also get multiple layer integration tab. Our RBFPS method. We note this in. There are also several uh, marks. The for a given RBF phi. Rn can be obtained analytically. And what's more, the coefficient matrix An is uh, very sparse because of the localized method. And the related result will be given in the near future paper. This is uh, our result. Uh, thank you for your attention.